Hello and welcome to Teach to Learn, the channel in which I teach concepts so you can learn them and I can better understand them. We're almost at 100 subs and I really appreciate it if you guys could help me reach that milestone by clicking that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's dive right into the lesson and today we're going to be learning how to use class syntax to define a constructor function. So let's dive right in. ES6 provides a new syntax to create objects using the class keyword. It should be noted that the class syntax is just a syntax and not, and not a full-fledged class-based implementation of an object-oriented paradigm, unlike in languages such as Java, Python, Ruby, etc. So what you should get out of this paragraph is that the class syntax is just that, just a way to structure your code. So moving on, in ES5, we usually define a constructor function and to use the new keyword to instantiate an object. So what exactly is a constructor function? A constructor function is a function that is used to create new objects, as we'll see in a moment. And the new keyword is used in order to instantiate a new object that is being created, as the name would suggest. So moving on to the code, we have our variable space shuttle, which has been assigned a function. So this has been turned into a function that takes in one argument. So it currently has a parameter called target planet. And inside our function contains a block of code that firstly uses the this keyword to refer to the object that, th that it is being called in or called for, and then accesses the target planet property, which then is assigned the target planet argument that we passed into our function. Then, we have variable Zeus in which the new keyword has been used in order to create a new object for this variable. And the space shuttle function was called with an argument of Jupiter, meaning that our Zeus object has a property called target planet, which contains a value of Jupiter. So just imagine that this is a space shuttle, which inside has the information for the planet that it is going to go on an expedition to, <laughs> for lack of better words. So let's just see this code in action so you guys can see what's going on. And console log our Zeus object. So you can see that it has a property called target planet, which contains a value of Jupiter. What if we went ahead and created a new, uh, a new object, so a new shuttle, the variable Hades has been assigned new and then call the space shuttle function with a new argument. So the same property will be created for this object, for object Hades, called target planet. But let's just make our value Neptune. And log Hades as well into the console. So as you can see, with this constructor function right here, this is ES5 code, we have created two objects, one called Zeus and one called Hades, with the same property name, but with different property values. So Zeus is headed for Jupiter, and our space shuttle Hades is headed for Neptune. So that is what a constructor function does. Moving on, let's reset our code real quick. And moving on, the class syntax is simply, excuse me, the class syntax simply replaces the constructor function creation. And then we have the following code in which the class uh, keyword was used. And then we establish our function's name, which is space shuttle, once again. Then we need to use the constructor keyword and um, <clears throat> pass and then declare which arguments we want to be passed into our function. So we set our parameter of target planet right here. And then the code inside of the function is exactly the same as the example above. So it creates a new target planet um, property inside of the object that it is referring to and um, sets that property's value to the argument that we passed into our function. And as you can see, let's copy and paste this code into the code editor right now. When we log 
Zeus into the console, you can see that we get the exact same thing. So they're just teaching us a new way to do the exact same thing as before by using the class keyword, the class syntax, excuse me. And then they say it should be noted that the class keyword declares a new function to which a constructor is added, as you saw above. This constructor is invoked when new is called, so you must use the new keyword in order to create new objects uh, with the constructor functions. And this constructor is invoked when new is called to create a new object. Then we have a note that says that upper camel case should be used by convention for ES6 class names as in space shuttle used above. So as you can see, when you use class, uh, when you use a class keyword, always follow your declarations with um, upper camel case. This, the constructor method is a special method for creating an, excuse me, the constructor method is a special method for creating and initializing an object created with a class. You'll learn more about it in the object oriented programming section of the JavaScript algorithms and data structures certification. So we will be learning more about the constructor method in the future. Then we move on to our challenge in which we must use the class keyword and write a constructor to create the vegetable class. The vegetable class allows you to create a vegetable object with a property name that gets passed to the constructor. So let's reset all of our code and let's get to doing that. So we need to create a constructor function for vegetable. So first, we go ahead and type in our class keyword, then give our function the name of vegetable in upper camel case, as they stated right here, and move on to another block of code in which we will declare our constructor, which will take in an argument. So its parameter will be called name, name right here. Then we open another block of code in which we write code that is very similar to the example right here. So we need our function to refer to the object that is calling it. And then we need to access that object and create a new property called name, which will be assigned the value of the argument that we pass into our function vegetable, which is also called name. So our object and our object's name property will be assigned the name that we pass into our function. And as you can see, this function is now done. We get a value of caret. So what happened here is that our variable caret was created and then a new object was created for it. As you can see, we use the new keyword right here and an argument of caret was passed into the vegetable function. So if we go ahead and so console log our caret object, we will see that we've successfully created an object called caret, which only contains one property at the moment, and that property's value is caret. So let's run the test and see if we are correct. I believe this challenge is now done. And yes, it is. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great one.